Einen guten Tag! Wie geht's? In this video we will go on ratchets. And somebody asked me, I'm surprised you don't have any electric ratchets. Well, I do have the old fashioned trusty air ratchets, which I never showed, because that video was about manual ratchets. This one here isn't about manual ratchets. So we've only had the air ratchets up until now, and as everybody knows, they're known as knuckle busters, but we'll go into that a wee bit. But we have a new arrival! Yeah! So what traits are contained within, and what do I have here? Some of these things were bought separately now, so uh, that is a box. Right. One of these wee buys, three eights. Body only, I bought that as, and then this came as a, a package, uh, one of them, it's empty, a couple of these, and uh, ho ho, so this is what we're going to look at, and uh, we're just going to see what my initial impressions from this thing is. So I've decided, I'm, I'm, I'll probably talk about that. In another video, so that's a an impact wrench three eights. But this one here is about the ratchets, and why I finally went for that, and uh, even though I had those two, so we got uh, in the package in this package deal uh, a couple of these here. I have uh, a four amp hour one on order, and uh, another couple of six amp hour ones, but we'll have to see how they go. Because I think they're uh, they're not genuine, but anyway, uh, I have these on the charge here. So, what do you do with this? Oh yeah, there's a lock, lock a locker. So we we'll have our, our lights on, and it's a, a three eighths long reach version. So first of all, I'm going to just talk a wee bit about these here and why I hardly ever use these. So they are ratchets. Now, I do use this one occasionally uh, because it's it's of its size, and you can see I have the uh, flexible thingy on it. But obviously, you're you're connected with an airline, and uh, you're sort of tethered. Then they're very loud and high maintenance. You need to oil these all the time. Every time you go to use these, you need to squirt oil up there, and then all the oil flies out the exhaust here. I don't run uh, an oiler on my air system. The other thing is you need a good supply of oil. I use all high flow fittings and I have large hoses and a 200 litre tank and all that. And I have it set at about 120 PSI static pressure. So these do work quite well and that has actually snapped the head of a small bolt on me in the past. But they're known as knuckle busters and the reason for that is whenever you hit them and Whenever it stops and it 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 it, uh, it just carries on and uh, you hit your knuckles, so you're you're sort of out of control a wee bit with it. But the thing about the re the reason why I've never bought an electric ratchet until now is because they were shite. So these things are normally rated they're about sixty newton meters, and in pounds foot sixty newton a newton meter is about point uh, seven five about three quarters of a pound foot. So that would be, what would that be, 40 something or whatever? Right, well that's all right. All these sort of, uh, all these ratchets are in around that. That says on the box 75 newton meters, which is about 55 foot pounds, something like that. Now, this, the, the thing about a lot of older style electric ratchets before this came out was because, uh, well what I didn't like them was because they weren't actually ratchets. So this here has an actual tooth mechanism and it'll actually work as a ratchet, you know? So without pressing the air, it will actually function as a ratchet. So you can, you can turn around and you can do that with it, you know? But whenever you engage the air, you have no idea when that's gonna stop. These are not impact. 
None of these are impact, so they're not really made for breaking bolts. So they're just nut spinners. Now these ones here do ratchet. Older ones, uh, older type, older styles of electric ratchet, they didn't have a ratchet mechanism in them. In them. So all they did was turn that anvil. They just made it spin around. So they were, they just, they were just for running uh, bolts off or running bolts on. That, that's all they were. So, and they were very, very low power. You know, these are 60 um, newton meters and a lot of the cheapo electric ones, you know, from your home gamer brands, they, they wouldn't, you wouldn't even get that out of them. And they are quite loud. I do use these occasionally. And it's when, you know, I have long bolts or something and I need to spin them out, you know. But I very rarely use the ratchet mechanism. They're only about 40 teeth and you need a big swing. And this one here, you know, you're tethered. And that is, that's quite bulky as well, that half inch one. Uh, that's why I went for uh, the, the small version there on the three eights. But, you know, breaking torque, it just really hasn't got any. Now... Whenever uh, we started there, I showed you this impact and torque is a subject that I'm going to cover in this video when I talk about this. I'm not really going to talk about torque and breakaway torque and stuff like that because these here, you know, they just don't have any torque. Not for being able to break a, a rusty bolt loose anyway, you know. So these are high maintenance. Uh, you need a good air setup otherwise they're completely useless and uh you know you're tethered to an airline that if you're trying to get that in somewhere awkward you know you're, you're seriously restricted that one there has a swiveler on it that one there i elected not to put a swiveler on it because you're seriously restricting the airflow and to the, the get a swing or whatever you're swinging that airline about all over the place so they do get used and the other thing about them is you can pick these up these are these are actually pretty cheap you know but uh knuckle busters if you put that in and it locks it will just fling on and whack your whack your hand so you sort of go out of control a bit but enough of that we're going to move on to that because this is an initial impressions uh, it's not really a review because i haven't used it yet so when i say the ratchets uh, you know, the older ones and the cheaper ones were shite. I'm going to just show you. A, there's a couple of guys that uh, I watch quite frequently. The bull, Sandy Anderson, bought a wee silly, and this is what happened. I got this for my birthday. This uh, battery-powered ratchet for Sealy. I bought the Sealy. So... The Sealy had worked fine, but then it broke down, so I sent it right back to Sealy, and it done exactly the same again, so... And then he goes on to tell us that the Sealy didn't actually ratchet. The difference between this and the Sealy is you can actually put manual pressure on this, but you couldn't do with the Sealy. So let's see, so... So you can actually turn that to tighten up, and that's what it's, it's made for. Uh, whereas the Sealy, if you done that, you're, you would break the head. Never actually done that. So at least the, the Milwaukee one he bought then uh, did actually ratchet and it was an actual ratchet. Now this thing here, yeah, there is a bit of power out of it. So I'm not swinging that face there, but let's turn that socket in the face, you know, and it does ratchet. I'll just turn it the other way. So there is a disengagement point there. So if I tighten that up a wee bit, I'm only tighten that up a wee bit. Ah, sorry, I hope I don't rack that socket. There she locked. So let's see that again. So it is trying to shove my hand out. So there is a some sort of clutch mechanism on it so that uh, you know when the nuts too tight it will stop at least it keeps <laughs> it actually does keep spinning it in the base. Just give it a tightener. See, it 
Saddle Day, Fuck me. So there is a bit of power in this, there's no doubt. So I'm just lately holding it there. And it is throwing me. But if I hold on to it, it stops. But it is doing something very similar to what the air ratchets would do. But at least it is a ratchet. So what I want out of this thing is a bit of power and a bit of durability. You know, I don't go all out the abuse tools, but I want them to serve a function. And uh, my, our mutual friend, Uncle Bumble across the, the pond has tore these down and looked at them. And before I made this purchase, I uh, had a good uh, look at all his videos there. And yeah, he, he's not completely sold on this, uh, but he certainly didn't like the previous generation. I mean, it's incredible the difference between the fuel and the non-fuel version. The non-fuel version is a completely different tool. Light, light, light duty. It's got, and you see what's going to fail. That little itty bitty titty pin there, when you reef on this, this is holding back the works. You're going to shear that pin clean out of there. Don't let your granny reef on it too hard because this will break before her hip does. So he didn't think that version was that strong. And the other thing I didn't like about this style, whenever this big head came out, well, it is a, a substantially beefier. And uh, the non-long reach version, that head sits about here. So, you know, I thought, well, you know, your main body is, uh, is right where the nut is gonna be, because the, the, the head is gonna be here, the anvil's gonna be here, and your socket's gonna be here, roughly about there. So, you know, I didn't think it was much use from that regard, from an access point of view. This, however, you know, it means your hand is away, away from the nut and that hopefully I'll get in somewhere. Now, this is a three eighths drive and I don't think they do a half inch version. And, uh, you know, the wee quarter then, uh, it's just for me too small. I very rarely use quarter stuff. You know, this is, a, as I say, a 3 eighths. The one thing I noticed about this now is, you see that, uh, that ball there? You see how easy it is? It's really, really easy for me to take that off. So maybe we have better wear on that ball there. These sockets might fall off. It's not doing it at the minute, but it's obviously brand new. But it's, it's very, very easy. It takes nothing to pull that, you know? The other thing about it is, it's quite bulky. Now another thing uh, Uncle Bumble didn't like about this was this wee teeny teeny roll pin is the only thing that's holding this, this paddle. And uh, it's, there's no meat on that plastic there that's, that's holding that in. So there are reports of that busting. And that was a bit worrying, you know, but you could still use it if that did break off. Cause that there is just weeble wobbling over the shop there, you know? That's there's just nothing to hold that, you know? And uh, the other thing he didn't fancy as well is the fact that this fan is completely open there. So, you know, and it's right up where the workpiece is, you know, where your work is gonna be. So if uh, you're trying to screw off an old rusty nut, all that rust and debris is all gonna fall all over that. And that fan, well, you you might need to blow it out with an airline then again, and the fan, is just plastic this thing now this is made in the pr in the people's republic of china this is uh this is made in china even though it's that milwaukee brand there and you know it's quite well built it's it's hefty enough but i'm going to tell you something that whenever i took it out of the box i didn't like at all and this is just an initial impression i haven't used this this has not been in an engine bay but that big massive head on that arm there makes this totally want to go down like that. So if you're holding this in your hand at the grip point, you know, you're putting a strain on your wrist. My wrist is, you know, trying to hold that up. So it's seriously imbalanced. Now you might say, well, what do you expect? There's a big massive lump of steel on the end of it, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, I elected for the long reach one for access. Not too bad if you're going in from below, if you're using it sort of vertically. 
but if you're using it horizontally, I'm I'm putting strain. You see my my uh, tendon there sticking out, just holding that, holding that horizontally there. You know. And the other thing about it is is yeah, the the other larger batteries, you know, they're bulky, and uh, you know the whole idea of this is to try and keep it as slim as you can. If you are gonna use this as a ratchet, if this is clutching out on you, and you put your arm, your hand on down to the bottom to give yourself a bit more pull, then you're going to be pulling on this battery here, you know? So there's a few things maybe to consider. And that battery is only really in with these two tabs, if I can get it out. So it's just that plastic spring tab. As, uh, there's, there's no sort of, there's no mechanical uh, metal or anything like that. You're just relying on that. That's that sprung of that that plastic there, you know, uh, holding that in. So you don't want to be pulling on that, putting any sort of force on it. But certainly after I saw the reviews of Uncle Bumble, uh, you know, I uh, shied away from uh, the original Milwaukee and I definitely shied away from all those other sort of home gamer makes, the Sealy's and the Drapers and all the, the knockoff ones that you see on eBay for about 60 quid and all. They're just not going to do because that head on, on those sort of black ones, uh, you know, it's just made of nothing. And as I say, some of them don't even ratchet. They're not even a ratchet. So there's a million reviews on YouTube with this when people get this. And they go, oh, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. Look at the power and all that there. And yeah, that's right. But to me, a real review and a real initial thought is to point out its weaknesses. And that's what nobody seems to do on the YouTube. And I don't know whether they're being sponsored or whatever, but they seem to have a hell of a lot of Milwaukee tools about them. These tools here that I'm showing you here, all this stuff. And there's another one on order. Uh, so there is, and it's a pre-order. So whenever I do, this will be end up a wee series, probably a three part series. I'm going to do a review on that where I'm going to talk about torque and why the torque of this, you know, the specs that they say is really not really that important. It's a bit of a gay lane, but I'll go into that more and I'm going to compare that to uh, instead of this Chinese made one, you know, the German made ones that I have and that's what I am comparing this to. I'm comparing this to German made stuff that I have been using for this past 10 years or so. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I've had those before this thing, you know, before people started buying this brand here and going mad on this brand, you know. Now, there's one plus point, and you can see it in the, in the build in this. You can see it totally in the plastic and the way this is clipped in and all that. These are are cheaper by the tune of about a third to the German branded stuff that I have already. So, uh, you know, some uh, not too many manufacturers make electric ratchets and it's because, well, are they any good? Are they durable? I reckon they had a lot of returns of the original ratchet. And as Sandy found out, his wee cheap silly one, it's just, it's a total home gamer job. It's not up to, a, you know, a commercial operation where you're going to use this every day. I am not going to be using this every day. Uh, I'm still going to use my hand ratchets. And, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's not designed to break the fastener. It's just designed to, you know, unscrew it off. Well, what's the point of it then? What's the use of that? Why would you want to stop, remove the socket, get this out, stick the socket onto that or, you know, keep an, a, a same size socket on it and swap. I would just run it off, you know, while I'm in there, you just run it off the rest of the way rather than stop and, and get this out just because, you know, just because it does it for you. You know, that's just laziness, really. I want that to break bolts. Now, it's not going to break all bolts, but stuff that's, that, that you know, isn't all rusted up stuff that you do expect to just give it a quick snap and then it'll run out that's what i want this for and that's what i'm using it for and that's what those do as well 
that's that's what those are for as well and they do get a bit of use but they are a pain because you're tethered this all this does is do away with the tethering so there we go so from the previous incarnations of electric ratchets hopefully you've got a bit of an idea of why i've never had an electric ratchet you know this is maybe half decent and uh, time will tell and what i'm going to do uh, is i'm going to use these tools for a couple of months and then there will be an update video and i'm going to tell you what i think of it now what happens with me is if i don't like something then it sits in the shelf and doesn't get used if i do like it then it's in your head to go you know oh there's there's something that that, that there will make this easy for me it'll speed the operation up and uh you know it'll, it'll take that off if if whenever i went to these and half the time it wasn't doing it and it was locking up and hitting my knuckles on something you know you just you just shied away from it then you know you didn't really use it so yeah so there'll be oh, i don't know many parts uh, upcoming there'll be uh this impact a wrench uh review and initial thoughts and then there's gonna be a treat especial but especial especial not an uncle bumble normal especial and it's going to be a tool that's never been seen before it's uh it'll be the first review i would say in the uk anyway of uh and I'll, all right i'll tell you what it is it's an impact version of one of these and i have no idea whether it'll be any good or not or a complete and utter waste of money and that's why i've ordered some bigger batteries the bigger batteries are not for these two tools the whole idea of this here is compactness so i'm not going to put a big massive battery on it you know so uh but uh, i'm not talking about that in this video <laughs> i'm talking about this so that's the idea of it the two ampere for all uh the duty cycle of it is uh, and when i'm saying that this thing is built um with the expectation that you're only going to use it for a few seconds and then uh you know it's you want to shut it off and uh whenever uncle bumble stripped this down and took it apart uh he uh remarked on that that this is designed with a low duty cycle in mind and that's why i don't think you need a big battery for it you know unless you want you know you never you never want to charge that but uh i have a charger the charger is mounted uh, in the garage here it's actually just down there on the other side of that wall there and you know you have a few of these fully charged up so if it does go down you just you just swap these over the way that i do with miller you just rotate them uh, the way the way i do with miller uh, electric impact stuff and uh yeah so it just uh i've went from i'm still keeping all my metabo stuff all my german stuff and it'll get used more than likely in the exact same fashion that i've always uh reached for so if i have a reason uh, to, to reach for it i'll still probably reach for it but the the whole idea of these additional tools is not because of too much money and i don't know what to do with it uh it's to try to get a bit more longevity out of the other stuff because this is going to be used when the other one would have been used uh you know and uh this will this will reduce the 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 amount of hours that goes on the other stuff so there we go and uh that's it i hope you enjoyed that hope it didn't go on too long because many videos usually do and uh comments in the doobly do yes tell us what you think have you got one of these and have you used it for a while and t tell me what you think tell me if uh you know this wee pin breaks or if anything breaks i want to i want to know uh i want to know what happens with these you know can you not get them in places can, you know is that ratchet mechanism not good is there any bad points at all because all the reviews on youtube are i think sponsored so anyway well most of them are anyway thanks for watching as ever all the best hope you enjoyed that and bye bye